His eminence, uh, Chokni Rinpoche, is a Buddhist teacher known for his accessible and engaging teachings on meditation and mindfulness. I think these are the two things that we really need at the moment. He was born in 1966 in Nubri, Nepal, and uh, is the fourth incarnation of the Shokni lineage of Tibetan Buddhism. Uh, some of his popular books uh, include Fearless Simplicity, The Zongsen Way of Living Freely in a Complex World, Open Heart, Open Mind, Awakening the Power of Essence Love, Carefree Dignity, Discourses on Training in the Nature of Mind. Recently published book with Daniel Goleman, Why We Meditate. Open Heart, uh, uh, Open Mind is available in Nepali as Chitta Khulos Ridai Sangai. Chokni Rinpoche has also established several non-profit organizations, including the Pundarika Foundation and the Chokni Nepal Nuns Project, which support the education and empowerment of women in Nepal and Tibet. And just recently, he's also the speaker of the World Economic Forum, Davos, and uh, that's in Switzerland. And the organization and the organization, organizers are really expecting Rinpoche for his continuous presence. So at this moment, I'd like to call upon His Eminence, Chokni Rinpoche, to kindly come forward and deliver his speech. Good morning and uh, namaste. You might think why I'm here, Lama, in this part of the uh, world. So I think when first time the approach came from Mosam to come here to speak a little bit, little bit about uh, business world. So. I'm uh, no experience about normal business, but then he insists, please talk about restoring human aspect or human nature. Then I got a little bit instructed, so I'm here. Uh, so I would like to uh, speak <clears throat> two things. In general, uh, now we are in the fasting, moving fast world. Uh, I'm sure the wave of the speedy and uh, working with seriousness is coming to Nepal, I can see, uh, which is very good, but not completely actualized yet. I think we need to learn a lot of from, from the West, how they managed their world, their business world, and uh, this is, I think, uh, other speakers, I think you might learn from today and tomorrow. But at the same time, we have a very beautiful uh, Nepali beauty, uh, which is beautiful, innocent heart. We have that. Uh, I think due to the, our spiritual influence, uh, we are carrying that very beautiful heart. So. When I hear restoring human nature, I can link with that innocent, joyful, beautiful, without any time concerning. Because, because of this beautiful essence, we don't care about practical functionality of our life. So this is a dilemma. I'm facing. I run a lot of projects in Nepal also, and rural areas, basically women empowering and education. So the two philosophy is need to manage properly, otherwise it kills each other. One is corporate, functional, timetable, fixed, and everything with a serious manner of developing, technical, but one is the human beauty, naturalness, joyfulness, open heart, well-being, 
For example, in the West, at the beginning, they have a spirituality, but eventually the, the business world came into their life, which gives a lot of comfort. I think we in Nepali need so much, like all the structures, all the developments, everything we need, we are on the way to develop. But I'm really scared, or I, I might feel if we lost that beautiful heart. I'm sure <laughs> you might not know what is that means because you're having this. And I know when I met my students, friends from the West, they know their whole mind is the stress, working hard, and they lost their connection within themselves, which is a basic well-being, free, open, and there's some magical joy. All Nepalese, we have that. I amazed, even I have a lot of workers. I'm so stressful. My head is looking so much thinking, punctual, uh, goal-oriented. But when I look at the workers, they come every day half an hour late. Boli, Parshi, Eganda is no problem. You understand? I'm sure you're not doing that because I think you're more serious now. But this seriousness might kill the innocent joy. So my task is how to keep a life, both that happiness free but functional. I, I make this example, but people can easy to see. It's good. German head, Nepali heart. Do you understand? German head means well planned. But Nepali heart is free, open. How to bring this together as a restoring human development? If you bring too much seriousness, it will dry out. End of the day, no juice at all. But if you stay in that juicy, happy, free, open, innocent, you might not drive in your life any car. You will use food, but happy. Which one you want? Whole life you are riding bicycle, happy, always money problem. Oh, money is fine, family is fine. I have many great cars, but I'm not happy. I lost that beauty. Do you know when you reach 50s, you like to go back when you are young? When you are young, you like to go in the nice car, high building. Do you have to, do we think we can achieve both at the same time without losing the well-being, but at the same time progress, challenging, and become a top business leader, but without losing that innocent joy? So this is the, um, I can see, I'm trying very hard to bring these two together in the part of human mind. I think Nepalese majority, we have this innocent. That's why when they come one hour late at my office, they don't say sorry. They think it's a normal. But one hour late for me is a big thing. And many of my friends are from foreigners. They go crazy. Ten minutes late is a big thing, but we almost come half an hour late, one hour late, but still, Guru, namaste. No guilt at, at all. No guilt being one hour late. Why? They're happy, but no protective. Every day, one hour late, you will not produce so much. You have to be in the right time. You have to be serious. You have to learn as a Speaker says, you, you learn, 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 but learning, fixing, thinking slowly shrink, uptight, and it kills joy within yourself. So I really want uh, our Nepali friends, somehow because of our culture, because of our religion or spirituality, or because of our normal 
habits. We have this innocent beauty, but that is not the whole life. Life can be more than that. So the other part of the life, training, learning, everything is serious, mathematical, goal-oriented, mission, and how to approach, see other human skills, the scientific base finding, how to manage your life, how to manage company life, how to manage your work. All this I think we have to bring into Nepal without losing the Nepali beauty. So please, uh, only thing, these two things, I don't have so much things to share, but the two things is cognitive development based on modern technique and achieve modern lifestyle, but at the same time, aware, find your nature, and maybe spiritual and religious, religion can be together or can be separate. I teach in the West, of course, some Buddhist religion, but mainly teach about how to develop your human nature, which is a value of love, compassion, forgiveness, understanding, human psychology, mindfulness. All this can preserve your human nature within yourself and not satisfied only that and bring together with the other element. Modern element, ancient well-being, wisdom come together at the end, I think you will fulfill your life as a whole. Money is not the only thing. Just innocent, happy is not the only, only thing. I think I want you to have a wonderful, nice family, car, enough money to run, no need to worry about your wealth, financial world, at the same time, very happy. Do you think it can come together? I have a strong belief. West, they lost this innocent mind. And now they are restoring. And I have a job for that. <laughs> I'm joking. So that's why I can travel. I'm not teaching how to technical part of the uh, business world. They are experts. They know very well. But we carry this, the Buddha's message. Buddha was born in Nepal. So we have that spirit of peace, compassion, loving in ourselves. And then please don't lose this and don't satisfied by that. Learn more, progress, so come together. At the end, you will be very happy. Thank you.